Dentistry.com. So you can be seeing this tooth a few times. There was a large amalgam restoration, and I removed most of the amalgam restoration. This is just about in preparation for restoring. Now, one of the things that I was talking, I've gone around the uh, the building and asked opinions about how you restore. And the endodontist came up with a really interesting thing about translimination. So he has this. You can buy, use your handpiece. You can use lots of other things. This is use a bore light. So a five dollar light, and he was showing me something really neat about translumination. So oftentimes we can use our handpiece or a specific translumination gadget, and what we're looking for are any fractures. Now, how do we tell what a fracture is? There's there's a few different ways. The big concepts are, and especially you know we have we had an amalgam restoration with no bonding agent and that's controversy as well uh, in terms of aiding to the resistance uh, fracture resistance of a tooth but let's take a look here and one of the things we're looking for was this crack and you can see how when we place it on this lingual cusp the light is attenuated so it doesn't continue uh, you can see well there's a crack right there it stopped the light doesn't go past that and as we bring the light forward to it again on this side the light is almost stopped going through that. Even something down here, but and it's fairly difficult to see through the video. Uh, the light is not attenuated, so this is more of a stain right here. The light continue is continuous all the way through, so we wouldn't consider that a fracture. And same on the distal. Let's take a look in the distal here. If we can. When we shine the light, it is continuous all the way through, so there is no uh, fracture line here as well as compared to that right there. That's even a better shot. So what will we do here? Well, we really take that in consideration and place a cuspal cus coverage restoration, whether it be an amalgam. Uh, I've shooed the cusp already. But these are just a little tip. Sort of when you're preparing these teeth, uh, if you do see something like that, maybe just use your hand piece light, or if you have a $5 LED bore light, kick it around like this, that'd be helpful too. Cheers.